hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're also welcome so in this video we are going to be tying the zara cap gele the zara cap gele and here i'm making use of a thick paper you can as well make use of um, a carton but i'm making use of a thick paper and the measurement for this paper is 13 inches by 3 inches that is 13 inches long and 3 inches wide and for the fabric i'm making use of the 70 by 30 70 30 measurements now if you would love to see how i measure my gele you can leave a comment in the comment section then i'll make a video for that so what i basically did was to take this thick paper and fold it inside the gele fold it inside the gele just watch carefully and see how i did it so you fold and not adding excess fabric fold with the same measurement or with the same size of the paper then after folding you take and place on the forehead you don't place on the hairline you place it on the forehead okay you are placing on the forehead because you want it to give you that cap look that cap shape okay so you place on the forehead then arrange it carefully and nicely you can tell your model or your client to help you hold down while you arrange you hold down on either sides or on both sides of the head okay then you arrange um carefully arrange neatly so you don't scatter the nice shape okay next we're going to be crossing it at the back considering the measurements which is 70 30 for the fabric so you see that we have a longer hand and the shorter hand so how we are going to cross it is to take the shorter hand and use it to wrap the longer hand watch closely so you see what i'm talking about you take the shorter hand then use it to wrap the longer hand then you pin it down i did not tie in this scale i didn't tie at all so I, what i just did was to take the shorter hand and wrap the longer hand so you watch closely and see what i did you wrap tight and firmly so that your gele will not unravel wrap tight wrap firmly so it will not unravel so as you wrap you pin down okay you pin down i did not tie i did not tie i had to pin down you're pinning down with an office pin office pin so you pin down you pin to secure and you're careful so you will not injure or pierce your client or your model's head so you pin carefully next up you arrange the front very well you arrange the cap very well then you proceed to start the fan above it So what I basically did was to search for the front of the fabric, search for the front of the fabric because you wouldn't want the back to show. So you search for the front of the fabric, then bring it forward. So first thing I did was to pin down one inch by the side. Remember we did not tie, we wrapped behind. So you bring down one, you bring out one inch forward, then pin down by the side. You pin carefully so you don't injure your client or your model. And also remember that you're pinning to secure. You're pinning to secure, which means that you're going to pin flat. You pin flat, and as well, you pin to hide your pin. You don't pin to expose the pin. You pin in such a way that you hide your pins. So after folding in my one inch, I then proceed to start making my pleats for the fan. 
So gradually you take your pleats one after the other on top of each other. In making the fan pleat, you pick your pleat in a slanting form. If you would love to see how to tie a fan gilly or to make a fan pleat, please leave a comment in the comment section. Alright, so I can make a video for that. Let me know what you want so I can see what I can do about it. So I gradually start, started picking the pleats one after the other in a slanting form. As you continue to pick the pleats in a slanting form, you will notice that the fan pleats or the fan blades has started showing. And one thing with tying your gele, you don't rush it. Tying of gele is a process. It's a process that you don't rush. You take your time. You take your time to pick your plates because you want the result to come out very nice. So you take your time, fold your plates and you get a good result at the end of the day. So as you can see, my fan is already coming out nice. Like I said earlier, you don't rush your pleats. You don't rush in tying your gilly. You take your time. So as you take your time, you also arrange your pleats on top of each other and as you move to the other side of the ear. Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. Now if you watch closely, you see how beautiful my fan is coming out. You keep arranging and making your fan pleats. Arrange on both sides of the ear. Now on getting to this other side of the ear and making my fan, what I am going to do at this point is to pin down one the first one inch I made earlier. I'm going to pin it down so as to secure it on this other side of the cap. Remember we pinned earlier. We pinned when we started our fan pleats on one side. The same thing is applicable to this other side. So I'm pinning down the first pleat, the first one inch pleat I made from the beginning. I'm pinning it down on this other side. So I wouldn't want my gele to unravel because I'm going to tie at the back. You keep arranging your fan pleats. Arrange every bit of the pleats on top of each other. I'm just taking my time to make my pleats. Take your time to make the pleat, the fan pleats, and arrange them on top of each other. You can tell your model or your client to help you hold down. At this point, I wanted to tie at the back. So holding down at that point will help you to tie or wrap at the back very well because without holding it down, the gele might unravel. So you carefully hold down then wrap at the back 
then wrapping at the back if you watch closely i did not twist i did not twist the pan i did not twist the fabric what i did was to take the one inch from behind then wrap it around watch closely so you see what i did Then after wrapping it at the back nicely, I also use a pin to secure it down. I use a pin to hold it down so it doesn't scatter, it doesn't unravel. Tying of gele, your pin comes in handy because there are times you tie a particular style and you might not tie so the pin comes in handy you use the pin to secure your, your pleats you use the pin to secure your gele so it doesn't scatter so after pinning at the back next stop is to arrange my fan you arrange on both sides arrange your fan pleats and see your outcome Now this part of the gele I'm holding down seems to be big so what I'm basically doing is to arrange it and pin down and hold down at that point just arranging it carefully arranging it in such a way that it doesn't look too big then after arranging I went ahead to pin down at the back with a pin So this is what we have guys you arrange 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 this is a zara fan gele or the zara cap gele all right so guys if this video was helpful if you learned from this video please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video thank you so much guys for watching thank you for supporting me thank you for bringing me this far god bless you and make sure you try this style at home make sure you try it on your own and see the results don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section let's make this page interactive tell me what you would love to see tell me styles you would love me to tie or to teach you all right guys see you in my next video bye bye